In the UK, we're eating more rice than ever. In fact, we now eat at least four times more rice and rice products than we did 40 years ago. And many of us do so because of their healthy reputation. But at the same time, I've also noticed lots of newspaper reports which suggest that rice has quite high levels of arsenic in it. So, is this something I should be worried about or is it just another scare story? I'd love to find out. Arsenic is well known as a poison, but most of us don't realise it occurs naturally in soil and water, so tiny amounts can get into food. Levels tend to be higher in rice because it's grown under flooded conditions. Last year, the EU brought in new regulations on the levels allowed in rice products. I'm meeting Professor Andy Mahag at Queen's University, Belfast, who's been researching the subject for nearly 20 years. I must admit, Andy, it had never ever occurred to me that there was arsenic in rice. And uh, does it matter? I mean, the sort of doses you find it in, does it really affect your health? Totally. We know that low levels chronic exposure to arsenic causes a wide range of disease. Mm -hmm. And over lifetime exposure leads to increased risks of cancer. We know that if you have low levels exposure during infancy, that it causes a range of other developmental problems. What sort of things? immune development, its growth rate development, its IQ development are all linked to arsenic exposure. Andy has tested levels of arsenic in different types of rice and compared them with other cereal crops. He found that white basmati rice has five times as much arsenic as wheat or barley. Other white rice typically has ten times the amount and brown rice, twenty times. These levels are all below the new legal limit set in Europe. But Andy is still concerned. And all they've done is set them at levels which are typically found in rice, so mm -hmm. they've done nothing to actually make rice growers or rice food manufacturers do anything about it. And I would argue very strongly that they're not fine to have those levels. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization, who advise on acceptable limits, said levels need to be low enough to protect public health, but still allow sufficient trade and availability of rice in the developing world. Another concern Andy has is with rice products, like rice crackers, rice cereals, and baby rice, which is many babies' first food. Rice has become very popular for giving to young children because it's supposed to be healthy. And you're saying it's pretty unhealthy? I would not want to be given my child high amounts of rice because of the arsenic content. The legal limits for arsenic in children's rice products, like baby rice, are set at half the adult amount. But puffed rice cereals don't have to meet the child requirements because they are deemed as not being directly marketed at children. The Food Standards Agency also advises that children under four and a half should not be given rice drinks, as these two contain arsenic. But while some manufacturers put this on their packaging, there is no legal obligation to do so. What about for someone like me? I like rice, I like basmati rice. Um, you know, I have it a couple of times a week. Your actual exposure is relatively low, but there's many people, for many different reasons, taking two, three, four bowls of rice put their equivalents to that in rice products. And if I was doing that day in, day out, I certainly would be highly concerned about my arsenic intake.